I stress out about money. I stress out about my family, being that I live so far away from them. And I stress out about work, because work can be stressful. Hey everyone, this is Joan here, and welcome to my channel where I talk about minimalism, self-development, and lifestyle. Today, I'm gonna talk about how to reduce stress. Now, I know we deal with stress in our day-to-day -day lives, and I'm not a doctor or a psychologist, so I'm gonna skip all the science talk, and I'm just gonna share with you tips, habits, and mindsets that help me get through stressful times. One of the things that I do to reduce stress, and I've been doing this ever since I was a kid, is to tidy up and organize. When the world seems so chaotic and out of control, and I feel helpless and so stressed out, the one thing that I feel like I have control over is the mess in my physical surroundings. There is something very calming and relaxing for me to wash the dishes, fold laundry, putting things back where they belong, it really reduces my stress levels. With tidying and organizing, you are taking your mind off of things. You're physically moving that stress out of your body with a physical task. So whenever I'm stressed out and I wanna get my mind off of things, tidying up and organizing can really help reduce my stress levels. The other thing that I do, especially after a long stressful day of work or just a long busy day, is to take a shower. There is something about washing away all the blood, sweat, and tears of the day, washing all the stress away from your body and your mind, listening to the water, feeling the water caress down your body can really calm and relax me. And if you're brave enough, do a cold shower. That will give you a little bit of a shock. All of a sudden, you're not thinking about the stressful day. You are thinking about how cold the water is and how much you just want to get out of there. I highly recommend you try a cold water shower. Otherwise, even a warm shower is nice. It just calms you down, it relaxes you, and again, draws your mind away from that stressful day. I know that the things I'm talking about, you've probably heard of before, but the next thing that I do to reduce stress is to move my body. My favorite way to do this is to run or go for a brisk walk. The reason why I choose those things is because when you run or you go for a brisk walk, whether it's on a treadmill or outdoors, you're kind of forced to think about your posture. You're kind of forced to pay attention to your breathing, your pace, and just having to pay attention to your body automatically takes your mind off of this stressful situation. Of course, you can do anything like yoga, do a sport, go swimming. Physical activity is not only good for reducing stress levels, it's also good for your health, it's good for your body, it's good for your mind. Again, you're taking your mind off of things with a physical activity. A really important habit to have to reduce stress levels and to avoid feeling stress is to just get enough rest. When I don't get enough sleep, I am cranky, I am easily annoyed, I'm easily stressed out and frustrated. I know for myself I need at least nine hours of rest. Sometimes that's not always possible, but if I get enough sleep, if I'm getting nine hours of rest, I'm way more productive, I am less likely to get annoyed and stressed out, and overall I can deal with the day's challenges with more clarity. Even if you don't get enough sleep the night before, maybe you can sneak in a little bit of a power nap in the middle of the day. The next habit to reduce stress, which I think is also very important, is to limit any kind of stimulation like social media, the news, emails, television. While we think that we can take our mind away from our stress by looking at any kind of stimulation, sometimes it just adds more stress. You don't know what you're gonna pull up on social media or read in the news that could potentially stress you out, clutter your mind more, and then you feel even more stressed out. So when you're feeling frustrated and stressed out, best thing for you to do is do something else like we talked about earlier. Physical activities, take a shower, or tidying up and organizing. The next thing that I highly recommend to reduce stress and even avoid feeling stressed altogether is to meditate. Now I'm a big advocate for meditation. I've been meditating for over 10 years now and it has changed my life. But when it comes to dealing with stress, meditation is a practice that you can implement in your day to work on your awareness when stressful situations arise. So take a seat, get comfortable, close your eyes, focus on your breathing, focus on your body. Doing this draws your attention away from your mind. When we think about things, we get stressed out, and then when we're stressed out, we think more things. So what you're trying to do is slow down your mind with meditation. I can go on and on about meditation, go more in depth about how to meditate, but I'll save that for another video. 
But for now, I highly recommend learning how to meditate and making it a habit daily so that you can reduce stress and avoid feeling stressed. So the next few things I'm going to talk about focuses more on our mindset when it comes to dealing with stressful situations. When something stressful happens, let's say you have some deadlines, you have some bills you got to pay, or you have a lot of things being thrown at you, you have got to slow down. I know for myself, I get overwhelmed and stressed when I see a bunch of emails that I know I need to get back to, or I have a huge task list of things I have to do at work. When you get overwhelmed and stressed out like that, you just have to take things one step at a time. And you have to accept that there is only so much you can do at a time. So slow down, figure out what the priorities are and take it one step at a time. And soon enough, all the emails are cleared out, all your tasks have been checked off and you are done. So no matter what comes in your way, just take a moment, take a step back and slow down. The next thing that is kind of hard to do is to not overthink or overanalyze. Sometimes we get into stressful situations like having a really intense conversation with someone, having an argument, or just dealing with a situation that just did not go your way. I know for myself, I start to overthink overanalyze what should I've done? What should I have said instead? How could I have done this better? And you start fueling your mind with thoughts. And the more you feel your mind with thoughts, the more you feel your stress levels. So try your best not to overthink or overanalyze when you are dealing with a stressful situation, because you're just going to feel your stress levels even more. The next mindset that I think is super important, and it can also be really hard to do is to just be flexible. I know that things happen that don't go our way and we get really upset. We get really annoyed and really stressed out, but life is always going to throw curveballs at us and being flexible will help us to feel less stressed. We can be in control of how we feel. Just having a go with the flow attitude can really help you reduce your stress levels and maybe even avoid stress altogether. The next thing is to just shift your attitude. This sounds very cliche, but having a positive mindset can help you deal with stressful situations better. Changing your perspective, like, is it really a problem or is it just a temporary inconvenience? I think it's really important that no matter what is thrown our way, no matter what stressful situation is that we might have to face, we have to focus on moving forward, knowing that everything can be worked out, knowing that you can solve this, knowing that you will get through this. The last thing that I'm going to talk about when it comes to reducing stress is to just bring yourself to the present moment. When we're stressed out, frustrated, no matter what is going on in the world, when you focus on what's right in front of you, what's happening right at this very second, I think you can usually say that everything's okay right now. This very second, I am fine. Everything is okay right at this very moment. When we feel stress, we're usually thinking about something that had already happened that was already done or we're stressing out about something that might happen in the future. And I know it can be really hard to be present when we're dealing with stressful situations, but bringing yourself to the present moment gives you a chance to think about the situation and choosing how you want to feel about the situation. You can choose how you react unless we're dealing with a life or death situation. Naturally, we are going to feel stressed out. But most of the things that we deal with day to day, just mundane things, we can still choose how we react to them. So I'm going to share a couple of examples of when a stressful situation arises and how important it is to be present at those moments. Let's say you get a phone call that your loved one has to go to the hospital because they got really sick, or you get a phone call that your friend got into a car accident and they need your help and you need to go there. Naturally, we're going to feel stressed out, but at the end of the day, you got to focus on what's in front of you in order for you to get to your loved ones or your friends safely. You don't want to be driving around feeling stressed out, feeling emotional. And the next thing you do is you get into a car accident yourself. Now I know this is an extreme situation, but this is a very high stress situation that it's so important to be focused to be present so that you can be there for your loved ones and make it there safely. So being present, no matter what comes our way is such an important habit to get into. It's such an important mindset to learn so that we can reduce our stress levels and avoid stress altogether. All right, friends, thanks so much for watching my video. I would love to hear from you all. 
what you do to reduce your stress levels. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Anyway, I wish you all a relaxing and stress-free week, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.